All right, a bit of breaking news uh, for you guys. Um, I got this information some time ago, but I was not too sure about it because, you know, I just want to be careful whatever I do share. Uh, but then yesterday I got a paid client who paid me money for my service for personal branding because he was a pilot and now he wants to move on to running his own business and all that. He found it no longer viable to be a pilot. So I asked him what exactly happened and to which he told me that Emirates has given them a mandatory 12 months unpaid leave. Just imagine for one year, you're not going to be paid any money. So I was like, uh, okay, that's, I mean, that's, that doesn't make sense. How can you live without being paid any money for a year? You know, surviving without one month salary is tough. Two months is crazy. Three months is near to impossible. And now it's 12 months. And then uh, I thought it was only for few people. He told me that it is primarily for the A380 pilots. Uh, following that, he also told me that they are planning to get rid of the you know, A380s because now they can no longer use it. And it's, uh, you know, hemorrhaging cash. I told you, it's it uh, per hour or per kilometer cost is like, uh, you know, almost four to five times or even 10 times more expensive. I don't know the exact figures, but compared to a normal aircraft, it's uh, unbelievably expensive unless, of course, it's filled up with passengers. Okay, so he told me that, but just now, I got another guy who spoke to me. He is also a pilot. He told me the same news. He showed me the email. But then he surprised me with one more piece of news. And that is, apart from the 12 months that you will not be paid a salary, you can even be terminated at any point of time. So now you are staying in a country which is not your own. You are not having any benefits. You're not going to be paid for 12 months. You have to pay all your bills, all your expenses. And for 12 months, you don't have a salary. On top of that, you can even be terminated at any point of time. And uh, I just, you know, I was just trying to uh, process that information. And then I asked him, what about uh, your loans, credit cards? And he said, one of the pilots even went to the HR and said, y you know, how do we pay our credit card loans and all that? And the answer that was given to them, well, uh, it might be cold-blooded, but it is it is what it is. They said, who asked you to take those loans and credit cards? That's your problem. So, we didn't ask you to take them. And uh, now, there are people who have taken credit cards, who have taken loans, who have taken mortgages, who have, you know, who had these long-term plans. And based on that, they assumed that they would get the revenues. So they took certain risks, opened certain businesses or took certain decisions. And now on top of that, if you default on your loans or default on your cards, you are going to be in trouble. And on top of that, if you try to escape and run away, uh, you'll have the Interpol uh, red notice slammed on you for not paying the sum of money. And this is no secret. This is happening. You can just do a just do a Google search and you'll find out that uh, anyone who defaults and runs away without paying uh, whatever it is they have to pay, uh, they are being bundled back and they are being made to pay. I personally, uh, I feel, you know, my view is if you take money, you need to pay it back. Taking money and run away is a crime, is wrong. And, um, you know, there is a price to pay. You can't take money and just think it's a holiday. It's not free money. It's wrong. It is illegal to do that. So I'm not uh, slamming UAE for this. And uh, to be honest, I'm not, uh, I'm, you know, I understand Emirates Airlines situation. But the question is, now, what are these people going to do? Yes, there are people who will say that, ah, you enjoyed a big salary. Now you deserve it. Fine, you can look at it that way and say, ah, you deserve it. But think about it, irrespective of whatever is your salary, 
I mean, how do you sustain and how do you survive for 12 months, one year, without an income? It is uh, not easy for anybody, whether it's a business, whether it's an uh, employee, unless, of course, you're really, I mean, you have really saved money and uh, you are really well to do, or you have other sources of income, then it would not bother you. If you're a millionaire or billionaire and you have kept your expenses down, otherwise, I don't know how these guys are going to survive. Okay, so this was one of the uh, bits that I wanted to share with you. And uh, it's not only pilots, it's crew. Uh, uh, for cabin crew, they don't have much of an option. Pilots, this is what they have been given. And uh, the second uh, piece of breaking news that is related to this is uh, they're going to systematically start trimming down on staff. It's going to go on for the next eight months. Okay, eight months is the time period whereby they're going to keep cutting down on costs. They're going to keep cutting down on employees, be it uh, Dubai Duty Free, be it Danata, be it Emirates Airlines. Uh, aviation industry as a whole is going to go through this. And if the aviation industry gets hit, then the hotel industry is going to get hit. So if you're hotel staff uh, or your travel agency or related to that, or any job related to tourism, I'm telling you, start preparing, um, get ready with your resumes, get ready for applying other jobs, get out. Just get out of the in industry, take up some other job, because when you have a job and you apply for another job, you can negotiate. But if you don't have a job and you start applying, you're not going to get anything. So I just thought I'll share this breaking news with you. And please, if you have any information, not through third parties, but you actually have legit information that you can share with me, uh, with evidence. Please do share because the purpose of this is to inform other people so that they can be mentally prepared. The last thing what you need is you suddenly lose your job. You have a credit card, you have a loan, you have children's education, you have your parents, you have your spouses, you have commitments. I mean, where, where the hell will you go? You can't just uproot your life and run away. And the thing about UAE is, uh, UAE or the Middle East, they will not let you go just like that without uh, uh, paying all your bills and expenses. And even if you do shut down or even if you do decide, okay, I'll close everything and I'll wind up and go. It's not a cakewalk. The, the expenses, the minimum expense for you to even shift from your, from Dubai to your home country, the cheapest will be at least anything in the range of 50 to 100,000 dirhams. So that's what it's going to take you just to get a, a TR, a transfer of residence. So then imagine, once after you shift, how much money does it take for you to settle down there? How long will it take for you to, you know, just to uh, get back to normal? And then on top of that, once you move back, you have to get a new job, you have to start your life all over again, you have to make sure your children's education is not affected, your spouse is okay, your parents are taken care of, your expenses are taken care of. It's going to be a big challenge. So this is the breaking news that I just wanted to share with you. If you have any information, let me know. As soon as I get it, I'm going to share it online and inform everyone else. So this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Put down your comments down below. Let me know if I missed out on anything. Uh, there is another two, two very important critical updates that I want to give you, but I'm just waiting for confirmation. Once I come to know that I can share it, I'll share it with you guys immediately. Stay tuned and take care.